Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how to render audio from Blender. I'm going to go back here for a minute and in the past we've imported video as reference and we've imported video as images planes as well. When we imported audio, we did it through the sequencer here. And so I'm going to go ahead and import a movie, a, a uh, video file with sound as a reference um, and so let's go ahead I'm in object mode and I am going to go here and image reference go to my desktop and we've got the audio render test and I don't see anything but if here in the filter we include movie files there it is so it's a simple uh, it's a simple video of rain all right there it is I am going to scale it, hit S, I'm going to scale it a little bit, and then I'm going to move it over here because we're going to import this. All right, um, we're not going to render everything. Uh, it, I'm just going to render maybe about 20 frames, maybe 30 frames. So if you click this video, you'll notice that it stops working at frame 100. And I just did a video on adjusting that in the data properties um, panel here is the video here's the frames and you can put as many frames as you want 240 and it should continue to play all right good we cannot hear any sound so what if we render it will it uh, render with sound if we put the render options here let's try it guys let's go ahead and try it I'm gonna go to the beginning frame one I'm going to go to output properties and 1920 by 1080 is fine and I'm going to go I don't want to render the whole thing I'm just going to render uh, maybe 30 frames every frame 24 frames per second and I'm going to save it on my desktop audio rendered test and I'm going to call it uh, test and this will be reference reference and accept because this is the reference and instead of PNG I'm gonna choose FFmpeg video and in, and in the encoding I am going to choose QuickTime and in the video codec H.264 is okay and underneath this I'm going to scroll down underneath this is the audio right now it says no audio now let's go ahead and choose mp3 and you would think that it's going to render the audio let's go ahead and render it go up to render render animation there it's done we will hide this look in the folder and we've got our first test right here the reference footage it's opening up on the other screen and if I hit play first of all I get no sound second of all I don't even get any video this video will not render not as a reference so let's try another test images planes so I'm just go add image images planes the rain video there it is I am going to move it here I am going to scale it as about the same size it doesn't matter this is just we're just troubleshooting this um, and the images planes and let's see if it renders and let's see if it renders I'm not going to change anything uh, everything stays the same 1920 by 1080 at 1 through 30 24 frames per second except for I'm going to change the name obviously this is test image as plane all right cool except and I'm going to keep the same FFmpeg video, QuickTime, H.264, and MP3. 
So if I hit play, guys, will I hear the audio? I don't hear the audio. I, I just don't hear the audio. So let's go ahead and render it. Render animation. Okay, it's done rendering. Let's check this out. I'm going to hide a blender. Here's my images planes. Open it up. Bring it down and hit play. Still, I can now see it at least. I can't see the reference footage, but I get no audio. I can't hear it. Cool. If you see my video where I do the lip sync and how to add audio, uh, I didn't add the audio using a movie. I just added the audio using the video sequencer. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go to the video sequencer. Instead of the dope sheet, I'm going to choose video sequencer. And I am going to go to add and go to add a movie. And I'm going to hit rain and add movie. Boom. There it is. One thing though, I, I was at frame 7, so it just started from frame 7. But I can go ahead and get that moved over. If I hit play, I can now hear the sound. Good. Um, and I don't see the footage other than this and this because I've added the QuickTime movie. I added a video file. I've got video here and I've got audio. So I can now hear the audio. Let's render it. I'm just going to change the name. I'm going to change the name to Test Sequencer. I hit accept and everything stays the same QuickTime H.264 and MP3. Render animation. Okay, it's done. If you noticed, here's the tests as a sequencer. Let's open it up. Move it down. And if I hit play, there, we get the sound, but you notice that uh, we've got the video full screen on here while we don't see it in Blender. We don't see the full screen audio, uh, video. It's only here. So if this is your work area and you want to use these instead of the full screen, you just select the video here and hit the delete button and render it again. Let's render it by deleting the video out of the sequencer. Let's see if it renders it out on my uh, scene. I'm not going to change anything again. I'm just going to change the name, sequencer, and then I'm going to put uh, minus video. Accept and render. Okay, it's done. And you can see that, A, it didn't print it out now. Uh, it doesn't print out or render the reference. It only renders the images as planes. So let's check our test. Let's check our test. Video minus video right here. Test sequencer minus video. and move it down and let's hit play there it is guys so now we have exactly what we want we have the audio uh, we have the video that we can manipulate it's not overtaking all of our scene um, and and there you go uh, now I've I'm gonna close this down and I've had some some uh, students do um, try to render in MPEG-4 and for some reason the audio does not render with MPEG-4 and I'm not exactly sure I mean we you could do the 
you could do the test and test out all of these formats and see which one works for you. I know that QuickTime works for me and I know that the video codec is good at H.264 and MP3 for the audio codec. That's what I use and FFmpeg video. If you wanted to, you could also do AVI or AVR raw. I just don't use those since I come from a Mac. Uh, I use and I prefer to use FFmpeg video and I use QuickTime for, for encoding. Hey guys, I hope that this was helpful. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.